Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the Big John TV Funky Food Friday. Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate you being here. What are we doing, Jamie? MREs. MREs. So they're not really that funky, right? Not that no. funky, but it's funky to us. We don't ever mean any disrespect when we use the word funky. It's just, it is what it is. It's something funky yep. we're not used to eating. It is kind of funky, it, but... Sometimes, sometimes. it can be like, I'm like... Jamie has been itching to do these videos, or these MREs for a while. The weather's a little bit more cooperative now, so we're getting to it's it. It's still a little bit windy, but that's okay. Right. Yep. All right, so these are not full-on MREs like we've done in the past because we don't have those. We couldn't find them. They're hard to find right now, and they're kind of expensive. But these are four different main dishes from MREs that we found at a local grocery store. So I would say these are more like food storage, like emergency preparation type Correct. foods. So um, MRE is a little bit of a loose term for, for us today. Yes, yeah. but, but, but I will say that these are from a company called MRE Star. Yep. So they put it in their own name. So yes. I feel justified. So we'll post information for them down below. We, we're not being sponsored or anything else. We found these. But you know, if you want to sponsor us, it'd be awesome too. Absolutely. MRESTAR.com, product of the USA. There's four different main courses. We don't have any of the crackers and spreads and dips and, or a, you I know, wish though. Drink mixes and any of that stuff. We just got four different main dishes. Yep. I right? love that. All right. So do we know what they are, Jamie? Can you read this one? Um, beef. Mm-hmm. Stew. Beef stew. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Vegetarian chili. Chili? What are these, Maddie? This one is barbecue chicken. Yep. Yummy. And chicken and rice. They chicken all sound and rice. Good to me. Good. So, so there are two look good. There are absolutely no directions. No, no, I think they're back. There is one direction on these. It says, do not heat pouch in microwave. Right. Other than that, there is no direction on how to cook these. Correct. So I'm sure we could open these in a pot and cook them that way. But we're going to leave um, them in the bag. Leave them in the bag. And put and them in a pot. Put them in a pot of Hot water. Boiling water. That's right. So, they're sealed up exactly like the MRE kits we've had in the past. It's a really thick, heavy-duty plastic. We have this camp stove on the on the table. We got it running, ready to go with the pot of hot water. I'm just gonna, as simple as, they're, they're labeled on the bag they too. They are labeled on the bag. So, there we go. So yeah. if everybody, Maddie, rip yours open too, please. Okay. Hopefully this doesn't backfire and these catch on fire or melt or anything oh, goofy. I, you know. Theoretically, you know what? It actually might. I could turn this down a little bit now. You could probably go ahead and turn it off. Probably. And just use the residual heat. Ah. MREs, typically, you can heat them or you can just heat them right out of the bag. Please be careful. Don't touch any metal. Like that? Yep. Except not. That was pretty good. Yeah, you did it right. It wasn't all that. Last one? It started to float away. And then Maddie's jumping in there, too. So, we're going to let these... Uh, I was going to say... For like a little while. Yes, we're going to let them, I was going to say chill out, but we'll let them warm up for a few minutes. We'll be right back. I think so. Mm -hmm. All right, we're back. Let's see. I'm just going to randomly grab because I didn't see. That's fine. I don't know the order. Yep. Just a couple minutes in there to take the edge off. We're not trying to get them boiling hot. We right. don't have to wait. To All right. Them. First up, barbecue sauce with chicken, black beans, and potatoes. Interesting. Mm. So. Everybody's got a fork. I'm going to open these up. They have a little tear spot here. If you can open them. Got it. Woohoo. Oh my gosh. Does it smell good? Mm. Ooh, I just got a whiff of it. It does smell good. Not bad. Your pig wants food as well. Not of bad. Okay. Do. Dump it on the plate. Please do. So if you hold it over here, then okay. the camera can see it come out also. Reset. That's a little unappealing. Ow. Ow. Got nice and hot, huh? Yeah. All right. That's the main. Here. Jamie. Your camera's here. Okay. Gotta... I want to take a bite of this one. Wait, Please what's do. this? Meat. It's barbecue meat. Chicken. Okay. Right? I think I said chicken. Yeah, chicken. Barbecue sauce with chicken, black beans, and potatoes. Let's jump in here. Mm. Oh. I like it. Not bad. You like the sauce? 
I got a pig schnoz in my behind. It is uh, very vinegary. Yeah, it's super sweet. Super, super sweet. Eh. Keep that fork. We're gonna use it for all four. Okay, so don't let it. Don't let it and get lost. What? I did eat some tomato. Potato. Was not my favorite. Potato, right? Um, it's an unusual barbecue sauce. Yeah. If I needed to eat it, I would. Yeah. Not my favorite. Have you taken a bite, man? Uh, nope, no, she's yet. about to. Also, there was only like six pieces of chicken chopped <laughs> up in there. What do you think of it, man? Mm -hmm, chicken. Mm -hmm. I don't know about the flavor, but and the chicken is really dark. Like it's been marinated for a long, long time. Uh, move stuff out of the way so you guys can see it better. There we go. So yeah, I mean, not bad. Beans have a decent texture. Meat has a decent texture. Right. The as far as a shelf stable product goes, not bad. Barbecue sauce is a little bit much, a little bit overpowering, a little bit strong. Really chewy. But if I had to eat it, I would. Right. All right, mm. set that one aside. Now we got chicken. Oh, did you finally get some chicken? Not a whole lot of Definitely chicken. Definitely dark meat. <laughs> All right. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Um, I'm gonna go thumb like midway between up and same and halfway. Same. Eh. All right. Like I've definitely had worse foods. Absolutely. Bon All right, coming out. We have vegetar spicy vegetarian chili with vegetarian meat crumbles. Oh, spicy. Mmm, interesting. All right, so here's a plate for you, sir. Did I just stick it on that? Almost. The pig's just gonna lay down behind us. Yep. He's gonna beg. He scratches and scratches. Okay, here we go. I really wanna see what this one looks like. It's not gonna look good. <laughs> oh no. I, I know what that pass. looks like, but I'm not gonna say it on camera. It looks like a can of dog food. <laughs> that. Although it does smell good. It, it smells like chili. I don't want to try this one. You said you would try them all. This was your idea. You wanted MREs. I'll try a bean. Mr. Survival okay, try Man. A bean. Do it. Is this a bean? I don't see any vegetarian crumbles. I think they're very <laughs> small crumbles. Oh. Is it really That's sick? not that bad. Really? But that spiciness, I'm getting it, but not that spicy. I want to know, what are ve vegetarian crumbles? I think it's usually like tofu or soy. Oh. Ew. Crumbles. Oh. <laughs> Do you really think that's that bad? Yep. That bad? <laughs> the mouthfeel is a, is slightly slimy. Uh, nope. It's overly flavored of chili powder. Yeah. To the point where it feels grainy in your mouth. Yeah. Um, I will not be going back for seconds of this one. But you know what, Jamie? Do another big bite. Since you just took a bean, do a big full yeah, scoop try and now. Get some. The, the crumbles aren't bad. Full scoop. Do a big full scoop. You liked it more than everybody else on this table. What's that? It's all just... It, it looks like the meat. Yeah, the fake meat stuff. Which doesn't have a bad texture. A like that? Yeah, yep. do it. Quick swallow. We swallow quick. So apparently the beans were okay, but the fake meat, not so much, huh? All right, let's get something else all out right. quick. Thumbs up, thumbs down, thumbs in the middle where we're at. I'm gonna say all Horrible. the way down on that one. That Horrible. one was bad. Horrible. <laughs> now, see, now that's why we call it funky. Look at that plate and tell me that doesn't deserve a name oh. of Funky Food Friday. All right, next up guys, we have chicken and rice with vegetables. Mmm, sounds healthy. Pollo, pollo a arroz con verduras. So All like right. from a different country. Yep. All right, coming out. Here we go. Well, that bag is hot. Yeah, that is not oh, that one doesn't look too bad. Like I can see the rice in it. I can yeah. see the cube chicken pieces. Not too much in the way of vegetables, really. Get it. 
Oh, let me, that finish let me get one more. Mm -hmm. One more little squeeze. Like SpaghettiOs. I do smell it that. It does actually. Sweetened. So there must be a tomato sauce in there. I, you know what, this one, this one smells promising. Hmm. That's it, like right here. So I can all get a bite. Do it. I think Sammy found that potato I threw before. Here we go. Wait, mm. hold on. Mm. I'm gonna get some ice. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> he got like two grains of rice. I'm gonna try and get the veggies here. The texture of the rice is a bit funny. It's a bit gummy, a bit mushy. The sauce, not that good. But overall... It tastes like plastic. Mmm. <laughs> it's thyme. I'm not a fan of thyme and that's what I'm tasting in it. There's peas, there's carrots, there's chicken, there's all sorts of spices. There's potato in there, there's the rice. We got it, bud. I wanted to see if I could get a piece of the chicken because I only got the rice and potatoes. If that had like a few more twists of salt and pepper to it, I wouldn't mind it. So what do you say on this one? Thumbs up, thumbs down. The chicken good, but the rest of the stuff, nah. I could, I could eat that one in I completion versus the other two so far. I'm gonna give that one a thumbs up. I'll, I'll go thumbs up too. Oh, we, still have one more. we do. It has a decent flavor, nothing too off-putting. I could eat that one again. Yeah. All right, last bag coming out. I already forgot which one this one. Last, we have beef, beef stew, stew with potatoes, carrots, and peas. I am hoping this one's good. I love a good beef and stew. And you over there, pig. No, the chicken and the pig. <laughs> Chicken oh ready. yeah. I don't have a problem with beef stew out of a can. Not my favorite. That's good stuff. Here we go. Coming out. Oh, no. You know what? Realistically, this one looks the closest to what I would imagine. Uh, this looks the closest to homemade. The there's, least like funky. That's a, good. There was a piece of meat or carrot hanging out in the back there and uh. I really wanted to get it. So there you go. There's your beef stew with carrots and peas. Doesn't smell that good though. That, uh, again, not appealing. But if you're just eating out of the bag not looking at it. <laughs> Doesn't really matter. I'm going, here we go. That's a big old carrot right there, Jim. Mm. No. What do you, grab a piece of meat and try meat. It's not any worse than any of those, dude. Promise you. No. This meat? That's why, meat. Why is this meat? Well, it's perfectly cute. Because they cut it up and cube it to so make it good and tender when it's in there. Oh, yeah, inside. Yep. Again, a little bit of salt, a little bit more pepper, and that's pretty darn good. Mm -mm. It's a decent middle of the road flavor. Nothing too odd. It does need a bit of salt. Yeah. It tastes like canned beef stew. And I'm okay with that. It's <laughs> like, what do you think? It's okay. I do like that it has a good amount of beef in it. Yeah. I feel like the chicken ones, they're a bit of it well, you, Yeah, and it kind of blends in with the rice too, so it's just harder to see. Mm -hmm. There's definitely more protein in this one, I, I feel like. This one? No, this the beef one here. Yeah. I kind of like the flavor on that one. Right, yeah. It's not bad. I will, I will eat this one. Happily. It's still a slightly uh, tomato based. There's a good, they, they did throw some herbs in there. It's not just plain flavor. Right, right. They did spend some time flavoring these yep. things. If I had to eat any of these, I'd be okay. Realistically, I would survive happily right. on any of these. These are pretty darn good. They're not bad at all. Um, Salt thumbs up for me on the last one. The, yeah, I'm going to say thumbs up. The it best. Decent. I would totally eat it again. Mm. Yeah. What about that one? Do you like that one? All right. If you were stuck in the woods and you could only choose one of these to eat while you were there, which one would you eat? Mm. I'd probably go with the rice. You wouldn't. You didn't like the second bite you took of that one. Yeah, because I had meat with it. True. Well, no, no, it's fake meat. That one doesn't have meat. Remember? I don't know. I might. I might have to pick the barbecue. Although it was a weird texture. Yeah. It had a lot of flavor. Mm -hmm. Really strong barbecue sauce. I'm gonna go spend some time over there. <laughs> All right. 
these were interesting. Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Something different. Um, we've done MREs in the past. We'll pop them up somewhere in this video. Um, we love Why doing. You? We love doing MREs. That's right, that's right. <laughs> that's we, not how it works. Yeah, we love MREs. They're so much fun. Um, and like I said in the other videos, if you have to eat these because you're doing us a service, thank you. Right? <laughs> if you live off this on our behalf, we appreciate you. Mm -hmm. But yeah, these were uh, MREstar.com. We'll post the information down below. Mm -hmm. And that's the video. So yeah. tell, ask them to like, subscribe, share with your friends. Ring that notification bell so you know we post all of our videos. Oh yeah, you which one of these would you guys eat if you guys are stuck in the wilderness? Ooh, good question. You can find Big John TV on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. TikTok, come hang out with us. We appreciate you. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye. That's the end, and have a good day.